I'm showing you how you can get Baritone from Minecraft 1.21. So right now, the only way to get it is by going to Meteor Client's official website, which I will link down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website, you'll want to scroll down a little until you find the Baritone link for Minecraft 1.21. Simply click on this button and the download will automatically start. Now to use Baritone for Minecraft 1.21, you are going to need Fabric installed. And if you don't have it yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, as you can see, I have Baritone 1.21 in my downloads. And I can now press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, I want to type in App Data, just like that. Then hit Enter or click on OK, and you'll be brought right over here. Then you want to enter into the folder called Roaming. Minecraft, and you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. In here, you simply want to drag the baritone 1.21 mod. Once you've done that, you can close these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Fabric 1.21. Now as you can see, I've loaded up Minecraft, and I'll just head into a single player world and quickly show you how to use this. So here I am inside of Minecraft, and right before I get started teaching you how to use this, I did just want to say that I have a full, complete, in-depth tutorial on how to use Baritone, which I will link down in the description below. For right now, I'm just going to be showing you the basics so you can get started. Anyways, you want to open up the chat, and the way you use Baritone is with commands. And similar to how in regular Minecraft you would use slash give, for example, if for Baritone you don't use the slash, but you use the hashtag. So I could press hashtag over here and then I'll get this entire list of commands. Now the great thing about Baritone from 1.21 is that it has autofill. As you can see, it'll automatically fill in the commands so you know if you're doing something correctly or incorrectly. For right now, I can type in hashtag help and that's gonna give me a list of all of the pages with all the commands that this client has. There are six of them in total, and I'll open them all up, just like this. Here are all the pages of the commands that this client has. You can hover above these, and you'll get a description over here, as you can see, as well as the usage, and the description is behind them in chat as well, which is all really, really useful. So let's get into using this, and I'll do this by just showing you a couple of commands that you can use. Of course, not all of these here because that's way too much, but I'll get started with the goals. So a goal you can set anywhere, and then you can pathfind to it. So hashtag goal, and then you can type in reset clear none or type in some coordinates. In this case, I'm going to be using my own location, but you can type any coordinates here, and that'll be set as your goal. Anyways, now as you can see, that right there is the goal. And I can simply use the hashtag path command just like that, and I'll be pathed right into the goal as you can see. Now, say that there was an imaginary bridge over here separating us. If you have blocks in your inventory and there's no other way to cross this, then Baritone will either start swimming around or it'll actually place blocks for you. So you don't have to worry about that. If you want to kind of do the same thing, you can use the go to command. So I can type in hashtag go to and then some specific coordinates. Maybe I want to go to 0, 0, 0. And then it'll bring me to the X, Y, and Z coordinates 0, 0, 0. Now, I don't have any tools in my inventory, so I'm going to be digging with my hand, which is um, I don't really want to do that. And I just decided I don't really want to go there. So I can open up the chat and type hashtag stop. Of course, you need to type it in correctly, um, just like that, and it'll cancel the entire route for me. Uh, that's the only way to stop. Um, you can't just walk away whilst you're following Baritone. That uh, doesn't work. Anyways, yes, it will also mine for you and stuff like that if you need to go somewhere that is otherwise not accessible. Anyways, the go to command can be used in a different way as well because. Um, instead of going to a specific coordinate, you can also go to a block. So we can try that again, hashtag go to, and then I see some trees over there. And so I'll type in spruce log. There we are. That's it. And it'll bring me to the nearest spruce log, which is apparently right over here, right? And of course, you can try this with any block. And I already know what 
you guys are of course going to be using for this um but that was just an example you can do that for literally any block you can go to chests you can go to diamonds you can go to anything and as long as you make sure you have enough pickaxes well <laughs> then you'll make it there Similar to this, instead of going to specific blocks, you can also choose to mine some blocks. So let's say I don't just want to go to spruce logs. I can go hashtag mine and then spruce logs. Actually, I'll quickly do that. Uh, spruce logs. There we are. And now it's going to bring me once again over to the nearest spruce logs. And I will start mining them uh, indefinitely until I choose to stop doing that. As you can see, I'm in creative mode, obviously, so it's going incredibly fast. Anyways, I'll just type stop right now because, I mean, that that's enough uh, tree harm done right there. Anyways, this client does, of course, also have more. So a few of the useful things that this client has are waypoints. You can set uh, waypoints in specific locations that you want to visit often. By using the Elytra command, this bar well, baritone allows you to use your Elytra to travel to specific locations instead of simply going by foot. Use the proc as well as ETA commands, which I'm, I'm not sure where that one is right now, to actually, um, if you're traveling on a longer route, it'll give you some information about how you're traveling, how long it's going to take to arrive at your destination and stuff like that. Finally, you can also use the set command to configure some sp specific settings of this client. And if you want to change those, I think, Yep, the reset command can be used to reset specific settings or all of them. Anyways, basically that was the brief tutorial right now of Baritone. If you want the full in-depth tutorial, once again, that's going to be linked down in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.